everybody. So this week I decided to give you a little peek inside my brain and talk about sketching and shading. <clears throat> so I have, I mean I'm pretty confident that I can draw and I've done a ton of paintings and I sketch in my journal all the time. But one thing that has really been lacking is noses. And my people don't really have noses and things that I've done and I think they're getting a little confused because they're missing a central part of their face. And I decided I'm going to figure out how to draw noses on my characters because that'll make them look realer, I guess. I, everybody has their own illustration style and I'm not saying that if yours don't have noses, oh my gosh, because I mean I come from like anime like and, and manga, like they don't really draw noses unless it's just like a little swish. So I've been working in my journal a lot and I've been doing a lot of practice and that's coming from like I found a couple websites online that are actually geared towards people trying to draw anime characters but that's the kind of style I'm comfortable with so I found a couple um, websites online and, and I'll sit there and I'll you know I'll draw off of the tutorials that I find and I found one that gave a tutorial in a style that I really really like so I've been practicing that and it takes a lot of like trial and error you know you're drawing and erasing drawing and erasing and I'm glad I use really thick paper in my journal or else the paper would probably come apart something that I'm really not good at is shading so I can I mean I've done it and I've done paintings where I've approximated where shading goes but I think the nose kind of adds this whole new depth to shading that I really don't understand and this is one of those times where not going to an art school or something like that really kind of works against me because I'm sure in like drawing 101 they go over how to shade around a nose and so my examples are really helping I've been looking a lot of at Tam's paintings in her journal and her art journals her girls um, just seeing how she shades because I think she's um, phenomenal and I just love her artwork so I've been doing that and that's like you know when you're working in your journal and you find and you're trying to learn something and you see somebody else who does it that's awesome you know and you'll see I mean you saw that there's um, a, a watercolor painting of one and that's from her based on her her um, journal but that's not like something I'm gonna post or anything like on my website or stuff because it's just my journal and I'm practicing and I think that's totally okay if you're if you're practicing in your journal to learn something and you're not gonna post online and be like oh look what I did it's that's I think that's cool because you know we don't have to share every single page in our journals right but I think when it comes to shading, it's more like trust and intuition, like trying things out and stuff. So I have like a blender and stuff that I'm using. And I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm really trying. So I decided that one of the ways that I was going to practice was to do an overpainting. So here, um, so this is an overpainting I did um, a couple years ago when I first like read about it online and it's just a girl from a magazine ad that I painted over and I altered what she was wearing and I made her hair longer and so I thought I would try again and one of the things I've always been ooh, excuse me fascinated with is self portraits so I did the really dorky thing and I set up my camera on um, the tripod and I ran around and I snapped, you know, went into a pose and then ran back and checked it and then ran around and did it again and I had my camera set to take three pictures at, the, at once so it would snap, snap, snap. So I had like a second to be like totally like a supermodel like this. Except I, I just, it just doesn't work for me. So <laughs> I tried to find a flattering pose and then finally I got a picture. And that's what I'm using on Facebook and my Facebook page right now as my picture because I really like it. And I figured out how to get rid of all like the blemishes and stuff in Photoshop because I wasn't wearing any makeup when I did it. I was like, I'm going to paint over it anyways. But then I was like, oh crap, I have to put it online, right? So I thought that I would take that picture and cut it out and put it in my journal and practice shading and everything with that. So uh, here it is.
Divide and I really enjoyed doing that and I was working over in Inkjet and the skin color is a color that I mixed myself. I went to one of the meetings of the Art League back um, in Lake County and there was a portrait artist up there and I learned, because I always use like yellow ochre and Titan buff, and I learned that you actually want to mix it with like um, a red and a yellow and white and sometimes even some Payne's gray in there, which I didn't know and that's how I mix it and I keep it in that little cup so I don't have to remix it every time because I paint me when I'm painting my girls so it's just it's my like I actually did the makeup thing where I like put it on my hand so that's the, what I used and then for the shading I did use some of the yellow ochre and I did use um, the iron oxide like transparent iron oxide color and then you can see that I mix it in you know the white and everything mixes in with the skin tone to shade it so it's not like I'm using a different color to shade and that was actually a lot of fun and I kind of built a journal page around it and I'm gonna write on it about like you know just the um, having to do that because if there's ever a time when you have to become comfortable with how you look it's when you're painting over yourself and you're like really focusing on it and it was really a lot of fun like I really saw where the different shades are and since I did it myself I can kind of look back at that in my journal whenever I need a reference so it's kind of like creating your own you know resource or your own instruction booklet by doing stuff like this and plus you have a picture of you in your journal which is always fun because then you can look back and see how dorky you looked or whatever or how good you looked whatever so anyway that's what's going on in my brain this week and i hope to see you all next week with something new that i'm trying so i will say bye now